Missile tracking is a high stakes critical mission where with our overhead systems detect a threat launch of an ICBM and basically trigger our missile warning systems to recognize the incoming threats and we can turn it into decision quality information. And traditionally we track these threats from geosynchronous orbit, which is 36,000 kilometers above the Earth. But that's why we could put systems in low Earth orbit and medium Earth orbit to have not only the stereo coverage and the sensitivity, but it would also allow you to have resiliency in numbers over geosystems. I'm Jason Kim, I'm the CEO of Millennium Space Systems. At our company, we're a fast, agile, small satellite prototype and constellation company. By having onboard processing and the algorithms actually on the space vehicles, things like the Earth's background clutter and the movement of the Earth can be mitigated. And what that allows you to do is turn the sensed data into information that can be directly used by the warfighters. At Millennium Space Systems, we're delivering systems on unprecedented timelines. About 80% of the parts that go into our spacecraft are built in-house. And that allows us to control quality, performance, but more importantly, schedule. We're able to use these open system architects for common building blocks to build up our systems that go to LEO, MEO, GEO, and beyond. And what that allows us to do is leverage a lot of economies of scale, leverage a lot of commonality among the designs, which equates to us moving faster to deliver these systems. It's important to move at speed because the threats are already here and they continue to advance. And so it's important for us, the Space Force and industry, to work together in the digital environment as well as building prototypes to field an operational system as soon as possible. Millennium Space Systems values supporting the airmen and guardians we were founded to support high stakes critical missions for national security space. And so what we want to do to give back to them is give them the best capabilities today to defend our nation.